Just need a moment to catch my breath. Hey everyone, this is POE Noob, and I'm gonna share my new currency making strategy that easily makes 13 divine orbs per hour. The strategy is designed around this sextant. The first three possessed monsters drop an additional wind scarab. This is a sextant that can only be rolled from elevated sextant and it is quite expensive so you can see the current price is 13 divines already it is super strong because it drops three wind scarabs per map so some good scarabs um, such as the legion uh, reliquary divination those uh, worth more than 40 C each and also there are you might get some like trash scarabs like um, torment um, sulfite um, if you get this it's okay because you can always convert it to good ones using the harvest craft here so you can see the cost is very low it's only 30 purple um, life force which is around 1.2 C so averagely it takes around 4 chaos for for one trash scarab to be converted to good ones so averagely each wind scarab is around 38 C profit which means that three scarabs is around 120 C per map so that is crazy right so because it is so profitable and at the same time so expensive so we should use this harvest craft map doesn't consume sextant charges which cost 25 100 yellow for uh, life force so currently the yellow life force is very expensive it's like um, one chaos you can buy 18 yellow life force so 2500 equals to uh, one, 120 C each so that's your cost um, but it's still acceptable because we um, besides this sextant, we can still use additional three additional high value sextant. So, which I chose, uh, your map contains um, Sacred Grove, and then uh, Harvest Monsters in your map is duplicated. Oh, sorry, the Life Force is duplicated, and it always have uh, yellow plants. So this two, the combination is very strong. It makes a lot of money per map. And lastly, we have uh, this one. So the map boss drop a conqueror map, which is also quite high value if selling in bulk. So that's the strategy. Um, the Atlas tree is here. So basically, we focus on the harvest nodes here, here, and here. And also, we take some um, map modifier nodes, which can increase the quantity of your and pack size of your map, so that the harvest can give you more life force. We also took um, the map duplication nodes so that the conqueror map dropped from the boss have a chance to be duplicated. Then, of course, we will have the torment nodes, especially this one. Up to five rare monsters in each of your map are possessed. So this can guarantee the consistent monsters possessed and to drop all the three wind uh, scarabs per map. 
other than that I also get this this note so that you get 10% additional quantity rarity and pack size if you choose the fortune favors the brave so this also gives you more life force in the harvest lastly we um, we got some nodes to for the map boss to drop um, additional guardian maps so um, also uh, we favor the maps of defiled cathedral and we chose the map at all why we choose this because it is of a very good layout you can rush the boss easily um, and also it's connected to defiled cathedral so this map is um, in high demand and if you drop the conqueror map with defiled cathedral so it will be very valuable it will be like 80 80 C if you sell them in bulk so that's why we choose the uh, ITO map and we favor the defiled cathedral okay um, so then I'm gonna uh, run I will quickly run an example map using my um, negative charge discharge character so here Just is what you can do so first of all uh, get the map and chisel to 20 quant quant quality and then roll it until it's above 80% uh, quantity okay so this is good and then it's your um, choice if you want to vault it or not oh sorry uh, I have to um, enchant this enchant it with this okay let's go okay and after this you can vault it I will okay bad luck but anyways I will run it And first of all, you will choose Fortune Favors the Brave to get additional quantity size and pack size, and then choose this one to get the invitation, free invitation. Why not? Uh, and also, I will choose um, the Beast mission paired with the Torment Scarab so that you can get more consistent possessed monsters. So that's it, and activate. As you can see, the charges will not be consumed, right? Which means that after you bought this expensive uh, sextant, you can sell it with the original price. So you, you do not lose anything. So in the map, you only do three things. First thing, kill the three um, t uh, possessed monsters and get the three wind, wind scarabs. Second, finish the harvest and then rush to the boss and kill the boss and leave the map. So it should be pretty fast. Okay, we got him. Oh, since he's possessed. It is time to hunt. Do not worry, little beast. We are friends now. That was fun. To be possessed. Okay. <laughs> oh. And we need one more here. And then finish the harvest. This way. Okay, lucky. We got two uh, blue monsters. That's good. So you can see one stack here is around 10c, right? Nice. Just a moment to catch my breath. There is no blue monster in. So usually I will skip. 
But yeah, let's try if we can get some luck. Usually I skip that if there is no um, blue monster. See, we got nothing. And we wasted the time. Oh, that's lucky. We got a pass. Yeah, it takes time to kill the boss, but you might get the sec uh, secret boss. Okay, I didn't. Which is two divination, two divine orbs. Sorry. Now finished it, and we are heading to the boss. And forget everything. Okay, let's see if we can get that to Exile. We are friends now. Okay, no, no defiled cathedral bad luck. Yeah, so that's the example one. Um so I tested with twenty-eight maps already and I did a breakdown of the cost and the profit in a spreadsheet. Let's take a look. So first you can see this is uh, this is the loot I got. Uh, mostly uh, the life force and conquer maps and all oh, the scarabs I, I moved it to another tab so you cannot see it here. And then some um, Danny Orb and current rock currencies and tons of maps, which is uh, interesting. So let's see, first take a look at the cost. Um, so 28, 28 runs, each map 4C, and Chisel, Reroll, Vol, and Torment Scarab around 3C, and the uh, Fortune Favors the Brave 3C, and most costly part is the Sextant. So in total, for 28 runs, we um, it cost four, around 4,000 Chaos, which is 20, 21 Divine Orbs. Let's check. Um, let's check the loot. So first part is life force. Um, you can see uh, we in total got 12 div divine of um, life force. As you can see the most part is the yellow the yellow part. We got 38 38k life force from 28 maps which means that uh, from one map you can get around I don't know maybe 1.4 or 1.5k yellow force for, for each map right so in total 12 div for life force and 16 div for scarab so this is converted uh, so I converted all the trash scarabs to good good scarab so the good, I mean, uh, reliquary, divination, legion, abyss, and ambush. So for other, I will um, use the conversion, which cost me uh, for uh, 4,800 purple life force converted, which cost around 133C, which is totally acceptable because we made 16 uh, divines, right? That is really a lot compared to the cost we 
we nearly cover the cost from the scarab alone. So if we combine the life force and scarab, it's already more than the cost. And also for maps, uh, we got we got defiled. Defy, uh, sorry, Defy Cathedral um, Conquer maps. Oh, sorry, which is uh, 60, 60 C each. We got five. Um, and uh, for other Conquer maps, we got 20, 29. So if you sell them in sets, and it, it is around 120 C per set, which means that per map it is 30 C. And also some um, normal mass drops. I only picked the um, popular ones, so in total 6.5 divines for the maps. And then run 28 maps, we, we will um, get an um, invitation which is um, 0.8 divines. And then some rock currency, uh, I got one divine ore which is from a god touch because you are killing like possessed monsters and sometimes you can just find a god touch I, I don't think it's a lucky event um, and other things are not really valuable so for currency in total around just around two divines and contracts we can ignore it and also we got a lucky drop, we dropped a Sacred Blossom, which is around 2 Divines. So the total loot we got, excluding the lucky drop here, is around um, 7500 Chaos. And if we, if we minus the cost here, it will be three, uh, 3300. And for um, for 28 maps, I spent around 1.25 uh, hours, uh, which is around 75 minutes. So per hour, we got 13 divines per hour. I think that that is pretty good because so like each map is like two to three minutes. It's pretty fast, and also it's not challenging, right? It's a, just a normal map. You just kill the boss. I don't think there's any content challenging here that you cannot uh, you cannot finish, right? Um, so I think this is a pretty good number here. I like it. Um, so per map, st for stats per map, the loot um, is. 268 chaos per map so if we uh, the cost is 150 around that so if we minus it and uh, it will be 120 C per map so that's crazy you got one you got more than half okay so it's 0.6 divines profit for each two to three minutes you run for each map Uh, yeah, so I think that's a strategy I would recommend. But please be sure to check the bulk price on the trade website and Discord before you start this strategy. It is very profitable right now, but I'm not sure about, about it in the future. Also, it's worth mentioning that to do this strategy, you will need to have maybe um, 30 plus divines to purchase the sextant and the yellow life force and, and run like 20 to 30 maps. And then you will have enough scarab stacks and conquer, uh, conquer map stacks so you can sell them in bulk. And after you sell them in bulk, you will then have more currency to purchase more life force to continue your strategy. So there is a yeah, there is a bar of thirty plus divines that you you need to have in hand to do this strategy. So that's all about it, and 
hope you enjoyed this and make your own bank out of this. Thanks for watching.